hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use human generator with rare motion pro without convert it into tipos okay so here it has got a new feature called virtual tipos this will allow you to face any pose without converting it into tipos so here i'm going to show you how to use it if your character got folded arms or open legs or any face poses we can use the virtual tipos to face it so today i'm going to show you how to use it with human gene so let's start so i'll go to here and let me go to human gene and i'm going to generate any character from the list so let me choose any random character and click generate okay so here you can go ahead and just customize the body okay so click on the body here and you can just choose anything just customize it as you want okay choose age um this one can randomize it let's go next you can change the height and everything okay right. okay so yeah you can choose cloth okay so i'm going to choose any cloth from the list i'm going to choose this and i'm going to choose footwear okay so here are the important parts if you want to add the facial rig just go here and go to add face rig and click on add facial rig and now let's go back here and make sure click on the library and make sure you choose either this tipos or base tipos okay you can choose one of them and it will still work okay so here i choose one of them and let's go to the rectifier and click on generate rectifier good now we have successfully generated our rectifier okay so now let's go to real motion pro you can see the character rest pose is what is able so let's try and load animation to this character but before we can load animation to this character let's go to settings and let's convert into uh into fk because our character uh using ik you can see it's using ik so i'm going to switch to fk okay let's make sure you switch to rectify okay before you switch to fk and let's go here and now when i move you can see the character is raising the hand that is what you want so the next thing i'm going to do is let's go to uh, the items here and i'm going to hide the ik boss because we don't need it i'm going to hide its layers okay so now let's go to the real motion pro and let's load admission so here i'm going to pick rectify from the list because it's now a rectify rig and click on pick rig let's load any animation so here mostly i use walking let's see how it's wrong. okay so we can preview this how it look so let's click on load admission and now we can see the hands have been full and this is not how the admission is supposed to be looked. okay so how to fix it let's select the bone okay the rig and let's go down here and just click on virtual tipos and here you can see the animation starts on frame one and end on 25 so once we click on this it will say start frame is one and end frame is 25 okay so you need to put 25 here it's end on 250 okay so you need to type to uh, 25 here so it will work on only from frame one to 25 if you don't want you can use marker and this will tell you the nearest marker is working so it will choose the start frame from 1 to 25 automatically for you you can see it's here so you need to be in range okay and click on here and just click on okay and now let's wait it's going to recalculate and face all the folders arms and the open legs okay so let's wait now we can see it has faced and it said 10 bones has been corrected from frame 1 to 25 and now we can see he is working correctly let me go here to let you see it clear okay so this is what we have uh this one okay so now we can see he is working nice okay so this is good so right now we can if you go to the post here if you go here you can see the rest post is still in a post but the animation worked fine okay so that is how the virtual tipos went. It will assume that your character is what it's in tipos and it will do some calculation and make sure there's no folded arms and the leg. Okay, let's go and load another admission. Okay, so here let me just clear this. Um okay, let me go to maybe zombie walk and I'm going to load this. So I'll go to where this one end because this one end on 25. I'll go to 26 and load this animation. Uh, let me 
extend this and use the record okay so now let's see so here you start working at this but we can see how the hands are food if i preview this animation you can see the hands is closed okay let's preview you see the hands is closed okay it's supposed to be closed uh like this okay and the leg supposed also be closed but here we can see it has open wide so we need to face this to face this let's go down and we can just go calculate and here make sure you are in the in between the zombie walk and the zombie walk start okay so this will tell you it start on 26 and end on 123 you can see it's end on 123 and it starts on here so it will automatically set the start and the end for you okay so just click on okay and it's going to calculate and face all these process for you now we can see it has face and the hands has been closed okay so you now it's working like in the reference okay so let me pair it for you so here we can go here and blend between this keyframe so i'll go to post mode select all the bones you can see there's a big jump here let's go to the blend and i'll use five frames to blend okay let's see and we have this okay let me go here select this and uh, i'm going to make head follow and we have this okay so this is how it works okay another thing is um let me go here and reset my pose so i'm going to delete any key and i'm going to load different animation let me go and load something like boxing okay so you can see how the boxing is let me preview for you to see how it's supposed to be this is how it's supposed to look but we can see the hands they cannot stretch the hands see how he's doing it he's using uh the elbow to punch because the pose is not correct so let's select the ray go to post mode and here let's select only the bones you want to work with so here when i click on this it will just okay and it's going to work only for the selected bone because if the bones the selected bones are muddy it's going to take long to process so the so let me preview okay so now you can see it wait i can see it work now okay so punch let me face also this one yes let me load animation like this you see you can see this one the hands supposed to be stretched straight and punch but the hands is not able to straight and also clipping to the chest okay so this is very good to use example of using the virtual tables so we select it just click on this and okay and now let's wait for it to face it so now let's preview again i know we can see uh, the punch is straight and now the hands is not clipping to the chest again so that is very good okay so this is how to use the virtual t post so this is the end of the tutorial and thank you for watching and if you have any question you can leave in the comments and i'll reply you this way for all the rings okay it's where for ringify auto mizamo does all the rings yes it's where for all the rings